Thanks for watching. My name is Angelo with Freedom Mobile Living. Today I wanted to kind of talk about how my setup is today opposed to it was a couple years ago. So I've made some changes. When I first started, I thought I had to have everything and the whistles and bells, and I really didn't know how it was going to be, but I tr tried to uh, eliminate any problems by ha having more than what I really needed. Well, over the course of the time, I have learned how to minimize the way I live, uh, to minimize what I carry, because the more you carry, the more you got to move around, and the more you have disorganization. But what I have started on the back side of the vehicle, I used to put like curtains up and stuff to, to give me the privacy when I bed down for the night. Uh, but now I decided to go ahead with a dark tent, with a limousine dark tent, which is on the back windows and then i also have uh also i'll show you right here i have a, a screen that i put on, over it that i've had so i got them on amazon and then i add it to the tent itself and that just adds that additional amount of security uh people like it that that uh, screen is generally used for like uh, down south when you get direct sunlight all the time like in arizona california areas like that so that adds a little bit of more of uh privacy but it also keeps uh, from the sun beating down in them while they're in the car uh, but it also helps me at night when i go ahead and uh bed down for the night as well so here we got the back of the vehicle. Uh, and normally what I do is this is my gym bag I put back here. I try to keep everything that I'm not sleeping with on this side of the vehicle. And then this side is where I sleep. So uh, I have a, a drape, which is used for dogs to protect the back seat of a car. I go ahead and use that to hide everything I have and keep it private from everybody else. Like when uh, I get people, the passengers that want to go to the airport, I have luggage, so I got to open up my hatch. I don't want them to see all the stuff that I have as well. I want to look organized. It doesn't look like that I am living in it. Uh, so as I un unveil it, on the left side, I have my items that I sleep with uh, which is my fan I always use a fan a trusty fan you need a fan another side I have bags this is my gym bag I use this for going to the gym for going to take a shower uh, it's got all my personal uh, essentials in it and then behind it let me just show you how I've organized it I always keep one of these handy because when I go ahead and wash the vehicle, it's a microfiber and I can go ahead and uh, dry it and make it look even better than what it does after I'm done washing it. And then I have bags in the back here. And this one particular one has all my uh, shorts and maybe my shirts in it. The one in the back has my long pants and uh, maybe some other towels and some other essential washcloths and stuff. And then I have a bag that's, because uh, as you get older, you get old like me, older I should say, not old like me, but older. When you get older, you end up taking medicine to aid in your health and so on. And believe it or not, I have a bag for my medicine. Then I have a bag for my dirty clothes. I keep my dirty clothes separate from everything. I don't want my car smelling like dirty clothes. I try to keep it as clean as possible. Every time I go to clean my clothes at the laundry, I go ahead and launder the bag as well. And then I have, this is my electrical component. So anything I have to do with USB cords, anything has to do with extension cords or anything electrical is in here. And then I keep my, I don't know if you can see way in the back here, then I have my, uh, my water. So I try to minimize the amount of space I'm using. And then one of the most essential things is your uh, the cleaning items, things you use to clean with and so on. I keep nestled back over in here in the corner. And 
and then I try to organize it where everything is on the bedding is on the left side like I told earlier uh, also my fan it can be used by battery power or by USB and I, I'll show you how I do that as well and on this side I have uh, I have a, a sleeping bag that's the most essential thing I can possibly use uh, when I bed whether it be in the summer or whether it be in the winter in the winter obviously it keeps me warmer in the summer I use it as a cushion uh, to go over my bed and then my pillow now I have a, a door dash bag which I use sometimes but when I'm not using it, I have some items I keep in it and that's generally at the foot of my bed when I'm after I lay the bed out and then this is my bedding this is what i lay out and lay on uh, a lot of people say man there's not much to it but i tell you what it's as comfortable as it can be uh, i tried it out when i first somebody suggested it to me and i tried it out and uh, it really works good and it's very comfortable amazing because i used to use a three panel like four inch cushion uh, where you'd fold it up in three panels the problem with it if it was on its side it'd be all the way up here only take up a big area so i didn't want something to take a big area so i'm trying to minimize the way of items i have because the more items i have more frustration of disorganization and not only that i'm always moving things and really the biggest thing about living this way is to minimize the amount of work you have to do to do it so that way everything pretty much just sits right back in there I used to use uh, the sleeping bag on the back and the whole thing, but then uh, I've always liked uh, the, the protector for the back seat for the dog, you know, I, that's what it looks like to hide everything. And then that's pretty much it right there. That's what it looks like without this on. And then once I put this on it, I tuck it in all the way around the edges. That way when I pick somebody up that has something, it has to be put somewhere, right? It can be just laid right out there and that doesn't look bad when they have a look at it. All right, uh, now I'm kinda, go over and then we got our other side of the vehicle and that's pretty much what it is same thing over here you know with the pull off the aids in that the tent aids in it quite a bit i can always keep water down here in the pocket in the door and that way if they need a water i don't chill it so it is what it is but in a lot of cases, it's better than not having any water at all. And I show you on this side, the front seat, I didn't have tinted. I kind of left it just open. Main reason is because if I am in my vehicle, nobody can see that I'm in there. And I'll explain it in a minute. But in the front seat, I pretty much just set it up as an office. And that's what I do. I have my laptop there. And then my inverter and my battery is on the other side. And I can show you that, how I operate that and how I have my energy for when the car isn't running. Right now, I just power it right now with uh, the power of the car. I might set up more solar, you know, but if I do, it'll be a portable solar because I've already had the other type of solars where, you know, the big panel, the 100 watt panel, I think mine was 110. Uh, I've already had those type of panels and the problem with that I had with them is that they're bulky and then they're moving it. They're not meant to be mobile. So if you move them a lot, you end up destroying them. But if you look down in here, this is my inverter. Now, because all I have to do is charge and there's my battery right there on the bottom. And then what I do is I put my coat because I use my coat once in a while, not often, but sometimes in the morning. I put it on top. 
just for safety precautions and to put my inverter on top of that now i charge it i charge my inverter with uh, a battery that's sitting on the floor in there and that's what i use to keep that energy going at night time for my fan and if my phone or whatever else i want to run off it that's pretty much it it's real simple it's compact but one thing I do like about it is that real easy to take it down into the level as far as uh, getting it ready to go to bed at night. That's one thing nice too is because of the way I have it. It's really incognito. And I'll tell you that many times it's just about flipping this one down. And that's what I do. I flip that seat down, roll out to bed, right? Well, the seat belt to get out of the way roll out to bed put my pillow at the end sleep bag on top of that and it's weather depending on how cold it gets and whether i'm laying just on top of it the, uh, the sleeping bag and then the pad or if i'm inside the sleeping bag that's pretty much it. it's a real simple way of living uh enables me to go from one place to another now one thing is very uh one thing I really like about it is the incognito part. I mo mainly sleep when people work. So third shifters, if you're working the third shift, I might be in your lot sleeping. Uh, Cause that's normally what I do. That keeps me away from the riffraff, but it also keeps, gives me safety. And uh, I'm not gonna bother anybody. I'm just gonna sleep for my eight hours and then I'm gonna get up and take off. So that's all I do. I don't add to where I go. I don't create more problems from where I'm going. Uh, I get in there, I go to sleep, and then that's it. And there's sometimes in Walmart parking lot where third shift is working, I might be a little car sitting in there uh, sleeping for the night. But I don't cause no riffraff. I don't cause any problems. Uh, sure in the heck, it's a lot cheaper than paying rent all every month. You know, even though you have a bill you pay it, you just have some part of you that says, heck, I'm tired of paying, I'm tired of living that way. And that's really what I came to. I came to getting sick and tired of the way things are. Uh, somebody said to me yesterday that I met, said something, you know, you're kind of living where you're in the world, but you're not of it. And I said, that's exactly what I am. I am not of it. I'm in the world, I'm a spectator, I see what's going on, even when I go into cities, and then when I'm done with it, I can leave. That's the beauty thing about it. Nice thing I've noticed is that I like to do is gravitate toward where the, you're familiar. I think we all are like that. So sometimes I'll go to a city I've been there before and I find myself going to the same kind of places that I went when I was there a year ago or two years ago, whenever the time I was before I went to that city. That's kind of nice because it gives me familiarity. It makes me feel like a belonging in a sense. Even though I don't belong, I feel like I get all those needs met as a human because we're all, uh, whether we supply those needs or not, if we really need them, they, our body and our mind is gonna tell, tell us somehow that there's something missing that we need to add to it. So right now, I'd like to follow the sun follow temperature obviously i don't want to sleep in my vehicle when it's 30 below but i have i obviously i don't want to sleep in my vehicle when it's humid in the 80s but i have so I'm not saying i haven't i'm just saying i'd rather not so i try to gravitate toward and that's the problem i have because Sometimes when you stop and you have stability, so sticks and bricks gives you one thing. It gives you that stability where you stop in a city and you just stay there. Where in my kind of living, I always have a tendency I want to go somewhere else. Uh, mainly because I can, and the second reason because of the beauty of it. There's a lot of beauty going to areas that you don't see all the time on a daily basis. It fills your life, it fills your need. Also, allows God to use me in a way where he can take me where he wants me. He can do the nudging and the directions and I'll just kind of do the action. So I've learned a long time ago, if I can do action, God can use it and then he can take me where he wants to take me. 
so far on my journey, if I felt Christ didn't want me to go on this journey, I wouldn't go on this journey. I go because I feel that's where God wants me. Not because of one time, not because of a dream, one dream. It was because over a series and a period of time. It gave me a realization that there's more to life than just living that ho-hum where you're going to rat race back and forth, work home, work home, work home, work home, work home. And that's what your experience of life is. I wanted more of an experience of life. I wanted life to grab me. I wanted to feel alive inside again. I quit feeling alive. I have never felt so more alive since, since I've done this. Weird, might be, not for everybody, but for me it is. And that's why I'm doing it, is because it's the direction I'm on. So this is how I set it up. I make it minimal. At the beginning, I used to spend a lot of extra money, a lot more effort having more, I would say, one might call it more comfort. To me, it, there was no difference. It was just learning how to live a different way in a different manner. So it's almost like the way I live and bed down is a little bit different than most people. Most people go in their homes, they go into their bedroom, they go to sleep, no big deal. They don't think about nothing. Some people think, uh, one person asked me over my travels, said, hey, don't you think about it all day? I said, no, I don't really think about it. I wait until I'm ready to bed down and that's where I choose to bed down. Uh, since I'm incognito, I can bed down almost anywhere on, you know, long as, there's free, long as it's legal on what I'm doing. If I'm parking on street parking, if I'm in a lot that doesn't restrict overnight. Uh, even though I can even get away with that in situations because when they say no overnight parking, the majority of the times what they're say, talking about is van parking, RV parking, Class A's. See, some of these guys are kind of crazy because they go out and ruin it for themselves. They go out and they park, let's say, in a Walmart parking lot. And then they uh, cause problems by leaving trash or they cause problems by thinking that they can camp out or cook out there. They start doing it and starting some ruckus. Then it starts getting complaints to the management into Walmart, management into the city officials. And all of a sudden now they post signs, no overnight parking. Now that you just eliminated parking for not only you, but also the people that came after you. That's not really human to be. That's not having good integrity. Integrity is to leave it better than you came. If we can always concentrate on doing that, we will far, far well have more freedom in this world. It's when we start trying to abuse it that we cause them to start putting restraints and, and, and passing city ordinances. And before you know it, they're locking you out of that area. Now, that's really what a lot of them want to do. Anybody that isn't the norm, they don't want you to stay. So they kind of want to push you out anyhow. So don't be in a situation where they choose to do it when they do it. You be in a situation where you control your destiny. You control when it happens and when you do it. So that's why I say don't overstay your stay. And this big thing, big thing is leave it better than what you came and if you can do that, if you can leave it better, then we can say something about being a nomad that we're not the typical stereotype that a lot of people think. We are people that are looking and we're making income or we're retired or whatever the situation may be. There's a lot of nomads out there that are in a situation where their retirement is $800, $900 a month. It's not enough to support themselves, so they have no choice but to live in a vehicle. Especially with the right, the rents, the way they are, and the way they be continue to rise, how can they afford an apartment? The average apartment is what, nine hundred dollars, thousand dollars a month? They're getting eight, nine hundred dollars just in that. <laughs> well, it doesn't leave a rocket science to figure out what they have to do. It's not a big deal. Make the choice to do it because you want to do it. It. <laughs> when I when I started, I felt like more of a big deal than what it really is. Yeah, I thought it was a big deal, and it wasn't. So, I'm asking you, if you're interested in doing anything, because there's times you can do this like for three months and save money. Let's say you're gonna be your lease get them out of the apartment, so you decide to do this. Put everything in storage that you don't need. You don't have to do it forever, but every month you do it, you're gonna save some money. That's a way for some people to do it. Other people like the life well enough that that's what they do full time. They like doing it, and then like me, 
I enjoy doing it. There's hurdles I've gotten over, but there's always been hurdles. I always said that before I did this. There's ups and downs no matter what life you choose. So you choose what life and then you take the ups and downs. Thanks for watching. Hit the likes button if you enjoyed anything out of this video. Go ahead and smash the subscribe button so not only you'll be alerted of future videos, but also you can let everybody know that this channel is worth watching and there's some good content out there that maybe you can at least get entertained by or learn something from. Thank you very much and have a great day.